Hello, it's Helen from Journal with Purpose and welcome to my latest Journal with Me video. In this video, I'll be using a plain standard size traveller's notebook insert and I keep it inside a vintage cover and they're both from Start Bay Notebooks. To start with, I'm clipping some paper underneath my page as I want to make sure that the paint I'm using won't go onto the next one. And I'm using a compass to draw nearly all of a circle onto that page. I decided I wanted to create a moon or space type theme, so that circle will be my moon shape. I'll be using some watercolours from London Gifties and I'm going to mix the colours that I'm going to be using first because I want to make sure that they're still wet as I add each colour. And the colours that I'll be using are Golden Sunset, primrose and grape. Later on in the video you'll see me using some transfer stickers and they were actually the inspiration for this whole spread and when I add them on later you'll see how they tie in with the colours of the moon that I'm painting. So now that my colours are mixed I'm starting with the yellow colour first and I'll just be making some random patterns throughout this circle. And while the paint is still wet, I will then go on to add the other colours and let them run naturally into each other. For me, I think this is one of the fun things about creating in a journal, is that I don't worry too much about which colours would be the most realistic. I just go for colours that I love using and then enjoy seeing how they look on my page once they're all added together. This insert isn't watercolour paper, but I find that it still handles the paint really well. There will be some crinkling, but once it's been back inside my cover for a day or two, it will pretty much entirely flatten back out. I'm now adding the blue colour called Forget Me Not and because the paint has dried a little I've just added a bit of water first to make sure that when I add that blue paint it blends out nicely. Before moving on to the next stage I did use a heat tool to make sure the paint was properly dry. I'm now going to use those transfer stickers I mentioned and these are from London Gifties and you can see that those colours actually tied in really really well with the paint colours that I chose. And with the transfer stickers you cut out the shapes you want, you then peel off the backing and stick it down and you then use a wooden tool and you just mark over the top of it and once you're happy that you've pressed it all down, you can then peel that clear layer off the top. And they're so beautiful because they're completely matte and see-through, they look like they're already part of your page design. I'm now going to do the same process using another one of the transfer stickers. And I think that's helped to really nicely balance out those two pages. Because the underneath of that page is quite lumpy, I've just used an underlay board to make sure that when I'm rubbing that transfer sticker, I've got a flat surface to use. Next up, I'm using a Staedtler pigment liner with a 0.5 nib, and I'm drawing around the outside of the moon shape and then I'm also going to use it to loosely doodle around where some of those paint colours have kind of mixed together, just to add a little bit of definition and interest. I love seeing how watercolour paints look once they've blended together and dried. 
and adding a few black outlines is really helping them to stand out. I'm also going to doodle around those transfer stickers and I think that just helps the two tie in together and look as if they're already part of that same design. When you're looking for theme ideas for your journal pages, I always think it's a really fun idea to look at some other supplies that you've got and then be able to tie those in. The next thing I'm using is a white uniball gel pen with a broad nib. And because the transfer stickers have those white designs on them, again, I'm just going to add them to that moon that I painted. I do find with the white gel pens that I often have to keep rubbing them onto a piece of kitchen towel or paper because the gel can slightly set on the end of the nib. Once I'd finished adding the white and black lines, I was really happy with how this ended up looking. And I feel that I've got some nice focal points for my journal pages. The next thing I'm doing is using some watercolour design washi tape from London Gifties. And I'm just going to tear these, I'm not worried about anything precise. And I will add four different parts to my journal pages. As I wanted to tie all of the different elements in together, I'm using a Staedtler pigment liner to draw a wavy border right around the outside of the pages. And I think that helps to make everything feel a little bit more complete and as if it should all be together. I'm now using a Tombow Fidonosuke brush pen with a firm nib and I'm lettering out the quote, aim for the moon. If you miss, you may hit a star. And I really like that quote. And I feel then that that really ties in nicely with the designs. And is a really good springboard for me to think about what I want to write about on those journal pages. I had so much fun creating this design. It's made me think I might look through some of my other journal supplies and see how I could tie those straight into my themes. So I've got things like some floral washi tape, leaf designs, and see how I can just turn that into something a bit bigger on my page. The next thing I'm using is some Uni Emot Fineliners. I love these pens and the different choice of colours. And I'm going to do my journal writing using this purple coloured pen. I decided to write in a simple print style font. I like to mix up the different font styles that I'm using. And because that quote is quite big, the hand lettering, I thought having the mix of the simple print font would look really nice alongside it. And I like how that pale purple kind of blends a little bit more into the background, but I've still had plenty of space to write about the things that were on my mind when I was creating those pages. To finish off my journal pages, I'm just covering over some of the designs and I'm then going to use those same watercolours and just add some splashes to my page. And I really like doing this. I feel it just kind of takes that design over onto the other pages and just adds an extra element of fun. Before switching paint colours, I do make sure that the first one is dry, otherwise you can end up with muddy looking puddles. So that is my journal pages completed. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, it would be great if you'd leave it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. If you've got any questions or comments, please do leave them down below and I'll definitely get back to you. 
and thank you ever so much for watching and I really look forward to speaking to you in the next one.